solve this example 3 and this question is from the chapter of c page here two questions are available and i will include an another question uh, another important question please focus on my video okay here find the flow rate per meter length of sheet while if k k means conductivity if conductivity equals to 1 into 10 inverse 4 meter per second okay let's find flow rate here here given that conductivity k equals to 1 into 10 inverse 4 meter per second and we know the formula of flow rate u equals to k into h divided by n d into n f so first of all we have to know So first of all, we have to know the value of H and D and F. H means head loss. Head loss is the distance between upstream to downstream distance, which is 5 meter. Okay. Uh, we get H head loss is 5 meter. This is 5. And we have to know what is N D? N D means total potential drop. So let's count the number of total potential drop. So the count should be start from upstream layer. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and 11 okay the total potential drop is 11 this is 11 okay uh, so let's know about what is nf nf means total flow channel okay let's count the flow channel is one two three four and five okay the total flow channel is five this is five by inserting all those uh, values into these formulas uh, we get the value of q which is flow rate that is 2.27 into 10 inverse 4 meter q per second okay our next question is find the pore water pressure at point a okay okay as our next question is find the pore water pressure at point a uh, this is the point of a okay Okay, we know the formula of pore water pressure is uh, the formula of pore water pressure is U equals to HP into gamma W. Here gamma W is water unit weight and uh, this uh, this value is 9.81 kilonewton per meter cube. Uh, as the parameters is uh, given uh, by meter so so the uh, water unit weight will 9.81 kilonewton per meter cube okay so uh, uh, what will uh, hp uh, we know hp is ht minus he uh, here h e is elevation value and ht ht uh, will get ht uh, from this formula ht uh, equals to uh, datum to upstream water level distance minus number of potential drop for only point a into del h okay datum to upstream water level so the value datum to upstream water level this is 
this is datum this point is uh, this layer is uh, datum and uh, this is upstream uh, layer so the distance is 5 meter okay uh, let's uh, write 5 uh, then uh, minus this is for formula minus and this is minus uh, number of uh, potential drop for point a okay let's count potential drop for point a this is one two three four five six seven and this is half of seven uh this this will seven point five okay okay the number of potential drop uh, will seven point five into del h okay uh we have to know uh, the formula of del h del h equals to h divided by n d we know h is uh, head loss uh, which is 5 and n d is total potential drop which is 11 so the value will 0 0.45 okay let's insert 0 0.45 okay h t equals to datum to upstream distance which is 5 minus then bracket uh, number of potential drop for only point a into del h uh, which is 7.5 into 0.45 okay ht will 1.625 meter and and we have to know the elevation below he uh, which is uh, minus 7 meter okay let me explain So our questions is uh, given that uh, this layer is uh, this layer has the datum and this is the a point. So the distance is datum to point is seven meter and this distance is uh, located at negative axis. This is positive axis and this is negative axis. So elevation value will minus 7 meter okay uh, hp equals to ht minus he uh, then uh, we will get hp equals to 8.625 meter and uh, we know uh, the pore water pressure uh, u equals to hp into gamma w we get hp which is 8.625 meter and uh, gamma w is uh, water unit weight uh, which is 9.81 so we'll get the pool water pressure at point a uh, is 84.611 kilonewton meter square okay uh, okay well, we find the flow rate also pool water pressure at point a and my another question is My another question is if the question says that the datum is located at bottom surface, then find the pore water pressure at point A. Our questions uh, here datum is here downstream layer. Uh, the datum is located here. But now my question is if datum is located at at bottom surface okay so draw the datum at bottom surface okay uh, then find pool water pressure at point a okay okay uh, we know uh, what pool water pressure u equals to hp into gamma w so uh, hp is hp is ht minus he here he is uh, elevation value and ht is uh, datum to upstream water level 
distance minus number of potential drop for point A into del H. So datum to upstream water level distance is this is datum and this is upstream. So the distance will so the distance will this is five this this is five this is seven and this is five okay the total distance will five seven five okay it will 17 meter okay uh, ht equals to datum to upstream water level distance so we get datum to datum to upstream this is upstream datum to upstream level distance uh, which is 17 meter so we write 17 minus uh, minus for formula then number of potential drop for point a uh, we know this is 7.5 already i discussed and del h which is also we know 0.45 okay so now we have to know uh, the elevation value the elevation value will uh, this is uh, the point a and this is datum i already uh, said uh, uh, the elevation value is uh, the distance um, from datum to point a so this distance is for elevation which is 5 meter and this is located at positive axis so it will plus 5 meter okay so hp will 13.625 minus 5 equals to 8.625 meter and the pool water pressure for point a will hp into gamma w which is 9.81 so the result is 84.611 kilonewton per meter square okay okay my third question is uh, completed okay thanks for watching my video